In this video, let's do some scribbles and some creativity exercises. The first thing we're going to do is grab all of our drawing materials and we want to lay them out on the bench, nice and messy, so we can see all of our colours and we can grab whatever we want to grab to draw with. The first thing we're going to draw is an animal of your choice. Today I'm going to do a bird, but we're going to draw it with our eyes closed. I'm going to start with the eyes and I'm going to give it a beak like a spoonbill, I think. And then a big long neck uh, and some wings on one side and wings on the other side uh, a body a little tail and then some big long legs with some feet and then once you're done open your eyes and see what you've got <laughs> Mine looks like a really funny creature. I'm going to switch to another colour and do a little bit more. I think you can have some head feathers. And I want to bring out the eyes. This bottom of the beak is kind of like turned into a smiley face. I really like that. There's the beak. Hmm. It looks here like there's a second bird hanging out on the first. So I'm going to turn those lines there into some feet uh, and give it a little head and a little spoon bill. Oop. And some little head feathers. and a tail and some little wings turn that tail into a big one with some feathers and add in some wings The second exercise we're going to do is the same animal again, so whatever you chose, but we're going to draw it with two colours, one in each hand. You can keep your eyes open this time. So I think I'm going to start with some head feathers, give it a nice beak and a neck. Uh, and some feet and a tail. The important thing with this exercise is to not let any one particular hand take over. These are going to be some wings and some eyes. There we go. I really like this one. I don't think it needs too much more but I'm just going to colour in its beak. Uh, and a little bit of yellow on the feet and I might make the wings just like a little bit more obvious by outlining them in a different colour there we go okay the final thing that we're going to do is start with a scribble. We want it nice and big and crazy, changing directions, not thinking too much. I'm going to add 
some different colours in and use different markers. I've got watercolour pencils and markers. Let's see, let's pick a third colour. How about purple this time? All right, once you've finished your scribble, your challenge is to create your animal out of the scribble that you've just made. So have a little look at it and see if you can see any shapes in your scribble. I think this shape here could maybe be a big beak. What else can I see? I think it has one purple wing on the left and one red wing on the right. And it's sticking its tongue out. Maybe to eat a little insect. And then it needs some feet. And here's another foot here. And I don't see any eyes, so I'm just going to put them wherever I like. And then you can keep on going colouring in some extra feathers, you can add a tail, I think this little squiggle shape here looks a little bit like a tail shape, so that can be the tail today. And that's it.